What time is it? It's science time! Just like this thermometer, the water inside of our container is going to expand and rise and fall. As it heats up, it expands. As it cools, it contracts. The inside of this thermometer is going to be the same thing. This little piece of glass is filled with this fluid. As it gains heat energy, it rises up into the thermometer and reads at a higher temperature. When we put it into something like ice, it's gonna drop in temperature because the liquid inside contracts. So let's get to building. First thing, you're gonna take your bottle, take off the cap, and we're gonna poke a hole into the top of the container. Now this is a soft cap, and I'm gonna take, after I do that little push hole, I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm gonna put it through really nicely. And I'm gonna test to see if my straw fits in there. Not yet, so I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. There we go. And hopefully it's a pretty snug fit, and it is. That's perfect. We're gonna also seal this up here with some clay or modeling clay here in just a moment. But before we do that, we're gonna add some water to our container. Oops, pouring all over the place. I'm gonna go up just about to three quarters, maybe a little higher. And I'm gonna add a little bit of red food coloring to my container so that I can see the liquid moving up and down in my straw. All right, it's starting to look like a thermometer. Now what we do is we take our straw and our cap and we screw it on. Whoa, <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> all right, so here's the thing. When you push this down, you don't wanna push it all the way down where it touches the bottom of the container. You wanna have a little bit of a gap. And I'm gonna bring mine up just ever so slightly so that we can see the liquid in there. All right, so now we have to seal this. Oh, we're gonna need I had to blow off the liquid because I'm afraid that the wetness won't allow my clay to seal that hole. We'll see what happens. All right, we're gonna put that on there really snug. A little wet there. That'll be okay, I hope. So now we need to get our liquid into the straw. And the way you do this is by carefully just giving a little puff of air into the straw, and what that's going to do is this. Oh, it's in there, but it's actually, oh, you can't see it. Can you see that it came up? So the liquid is in there, but it's stopping underneath the bottle cap. It's actually perfect because we're gonna put this into some warm water now to see if it actually expands and rises. All right. I'm excited. And I have another one over here. Let me show you what I did to this one really quick. So I used the clay on this one and I think it's gonna work fine, but here I used some hot glue to seal this. And that way I know there's no air that's able to escape. So this is an alternative that you can do as well. All right, it's time to test. Let's get some warm water and some cold water to see if our thermometer actually reads temperature. Yeah, here we go. First, we're gonna pour in some water into our cold ice to let that ice bath get started. And then we're going to take some of this hot water, pour it into this container. And I'm going to slide it over here so it's out of the way. And now what we do is we take our thermometer, put it into the warm bath, Hmm. I can't tell if it's actually going up because it started in the middle. Oh, there it is. It's working. <laughs> Look at it go. Oh, wow. It's gaining all that heat energy from the surrounding water. As it heats up, it expands. 
and as it expands, it rises through our tube. So now we can actually see that liquid rising. It's just like a regular thermometer. Oh, that is so awesome. It worked flawlessly. All right, so now we can see it's actually pretty high. I'm gonna bring it over here into the ice bath to see if it behaves any differently. So now, here we go. I gotta be careful because when I squeeze the bottle, oops, ooh, I squeezed the bottle. And I think I made some of the water come up. Oh, we've got some surface tension going on up there. Oh, I think I messed it up when I squeezed the bottle. I knocked off that bubble up top. It actually might take a little bit longer also for that liquid to cool and then contract. There it goes. Oh, that is awesome. So our thermometer is actually working. Whew. So we can actually see that it dropped. I'm gonna put this one in over here really quickly also. See if it will expand. So this one over here is starting to drop, well continuing to drop, and this one over here is going to start to expand. The reason is, is the warm water on the inside of this container is losing its heat energy to the ice bath. As it loses that heat energy, those molecules inside start to slow down. When those molecules slow down, they don't want as much space, so they contract. When that contraction happens, all of the liquid condenses and our thermometer begins to drop. This one here is starting to go up. And I'm gonna transfer this one to this bath to see what it does. Take this one out of its bath. Gotta be really careful when you squeeze the bottle. When you apply pressure, it causes the liquid on the inside to jump a little bit. So while that's cooling, I'm thinking, you know, maybe next time I build this, I might get a, a bottle or a container that's not as um, flexible, that is more firm, so that when I squeeze it, it's not impacting the liquid level inside of our thermometer. Yeah, how cool is this? You guys should build one of these too. This is awesome. Thanks for being part of our crew today and checking out this short clip from DIY Science Time. If you like this clip and you wanna see more exciting science, check out the full versions right here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting DIY science time.